morning people, I am Kassin and this is Northgard. Now, this is a bit of a story of woe for me as I have tried recording this four times now and run into problems each time. Mainly forgetting to hit record and having my mic muted, which I'm just going to double check now. No, you are definitely not muted anymore. Brilliant. So, without further ado, let's... Uh, delete all my old save files you can see I should say this is the fourth time I haven't tried four times before and there we go brilliant I am now going to hit my timer because I also forgot that to do that before and hopefully that will start counting down okay so we're gonna just keep all the same things I did before and we're gonna play the wolf clan and start game now, I have played a few hours of this, I think I've got about 10 or so hours on record, a few of them, me trying to record this. So, I have the basic grasp of the game down. I like to start straight away with a scout camp, get one of my builders on that, so I can just have a look around this area. I already see there's a bear here, so let's uh, avoid that area straight away. I'm looking for areas where... I can get either food or wood easily from. Which would be nice. Now next I am going to build a house to get even more villagers. And then a woodcutter's hut. I want to save the woodcutter's hut just in case I see a place nearby that is unguarded with a tree that will give us 20% extra wood. But it doesn't look like we're lucky straight away this looks like a wooded area so let's give this a go and some dead trees there huh? right so this is guarded by a single wolf and it has a ruins for treasure and some stone stone is nice because once you gather it you can use it to upgrade your things you have to upgrade your town hall first i believe yeah allows upgrade of other buildings and here we go we got this and it's not guarded so there's colonize that straight away and get our new villager over here to build a woodcutter's hut now ideally we're going to want a farm next which would be nice in one of these connecting areas there's nothing here there's absolutely nothing here so we'll save colonizing that area it'll just be a waste of food now we know there is a bear up here, so we'll also save exploring that one for the second. Now it's quite a shame actually, because the two recent starts I had, I uh, basically had a really good spawn I was surrounded by cliffs on all sides so I was nice and defendable I had two farms a place to hunt and three trees but sadly I had my mic muted and can't use that I might post it later I might do a voiceover on it and just explain all the things I'm doing but I'm not really sure there's too much point in doing that I'm just going to start again fresh see a little Draugr there. Yeah, just Draugr. That will give us more fame for conquering it, so that will be good. Now, it is slow to start. I mean, this first year is pretty... pretty much just the same for everyone. I mean, everyone's going to want to scout a house and a woodcutter's hut before they start expanding to any more I might yeah I'm gonna build myself a training camp here and get a warrior to clear this then my scout will be able to get the treasure and I might be able to there's another wolf here might be able to scout a bit further and clear some of these wolves maybe this bear is protecting the food Ahoy. 
You know, in fact, I am going to search there quickly. Let's make a warrior and clear this wolf. And before I search any more down this area, let's get this area searched. I'm now in the summer months in July. There isn't four seasons as far as I know it. There is only winter and summer. But it is July in the game. And where I am, July is normally considered summer. Just guard this guy. We're not going to be able to take on the bear with just our starting warrior. Okay, we haven't got any food directly nearby but we have got a raw stone which will give us what is in this game the tech points you need the tech point law will allow you to upgrade just basically everything got your resource gathering and production got your uh, I guess just soldiers and trade and then you get blessings for each I normally go for Yord's Blessing to begin with because that just gives you straight up 20 stone and 10 iron which is useful in the beginning especially if you're not gathering any right we're getting attacked somewhere it's just a single wolf against our lumberjack he should have this but I'm going to send my warrior over there to help him just in case I doubt we're going to have any food in this place either so it looks like our main source of food is gathering. Is there any fish nearby? No fish there. There are a lot of wolves nearby and one thing I found out last video is if you kill wolves you do get a little bit of food for it. There's a bit more stone there. So if we're really hard up we can just go on a killing spree. We've got one more space for a building here. After we have no need for our scout anymore, we'll uh, have two more spaces, and I believe you can upgrade the spaces as well. Two more spaces there as well. Can't grow because we need more houses, right? Have we got enough wood? It is getting close to the winter, but let's let's risk this. Don't get anything unless you risk a little in life. Right, first tech point, there we go. Now, we haven't got any food, so I'm feeling going down this to be able to just like reduce the needed amount of food and increase what we can. But we're going for a domination victory, so we have to up our fighting strength as much as possible. Gotta just defeat three clans in this, and we have a farm, brilliant. That is what we needed, but we have three wolves gathering it, and there's a little bit of iron here. So, that will make some good. I don't know where our scout has gone. Oh, he's gone up here. For whatever strange reason he decided to do that. Right, so this coming spring, we will go and fight them wolves. As long as we can get through this winter, we should be fine. We got plus 13 food in the gathering now though, so it shouldn't be too hard. That was me knocking on wood, so I don't jinx myself. Okay, yeah, so our production is quite stable at the moment. We are still going up, even though it's winter. 
our little uh, beginning camp is starting to take a bit more shape. Here it is, develop area. We need 100 gold and it'll give us, uh, I guess, one more building pop in that area. I don't know, it says unstable ground makes it harder to build in this area. I don't know if that's just because there's like little places to build because of all these holes or if there's actually any uh, mechanic that makes it harder. Happiness isn't bad. Apparently we're getting happiness per military unit so that might be something to keep in mind. We're now at our max food possible. So, let's train another warrior. Still gaining food. Oh shit, back out of there. That was close. Rescued the dude. Now, I'm not sure if two warriors, especially one with half health, is going to cut it. So let's uh, allow you to create shield bearers or recruit shield bearers which are well protected against range units and towers which are a powerful range unit. Okay, there's an unknown clan has this. Okay, that's quite close to us actually. I think that's pronounced Yggdrasil. Colonize the area and become protector of Northgard and achieve victory. So I've just got to kill these Valkyrie and protect that. And there's fish here, which I believe allow us to fish more in winter. Right, as soon as summer comes, summer has come, I am going to send you out here to build this and get you two ready as well and now my scout was hurt oh come on dude can do this keep it up It's quite strange that we're on a medium map at the moment and we haven't discovered our rival clan's borders. I definitely thought I would have at least seen them once. Oh, yeah, here we go. I think that's a yellow border there. And apparently green discovered this, so... Oh yeah, yeah, yellow scout. He can bugger right off from my area. Yeah, I don't have enough of that for now. So, let's send these two to build a mine. And become miners. And I've got my entire warband here. Let's keep him back let one of them full health ones and we've got this fur coats or that I think fur coats so we can keep keep fighting all year round Brilliant. this area and bring three people down to build a 
bomb. They increased food. Plus two to our like current resources, and then an additional 20% bonus on all production of the resources. Let's bring him back here, because I think our farmers are going to be okay on their own. Just want to protect these from wolves. We're getting stone. As soon as that is depleted, I'll actually bring them down to do this deposit. Trader, my dear. Earn us a wee bit more gold. That's going to cost gold or crowns to uh, do anyway. Right, this earthquake will damage 20% of our buildings. I will need to have villagers ready to repair them and enough wood to do so. I believe it is just wood. Now, our law isn't going up too high, so we've got to worry slightly because obviously these will outpace us. problem with that being is the games I have played in the past where I've gone for a domination victory someone has snuck up behind me and stole it with either a law or a trade victory lots of stone in that place stones always useful because you can upgrade all your buildings get the Berserker I do need 500 the Berserker is our or is the Wolf Clan's main unit the others will have a Warlord I'm not sure if the Berserker is better or not and our scout has died well rest in peace rest in peace you brave soul I'm going to dismantle this scout camp for now though and replace it with a healer's hut simple fact being that we have scouted quite a large area so far we haven't found any of our well we know where they are we know one's here and one must be up there somewhere our territory is under attack let's get a warrior down here to protect our farmers and get a healer on the go. We have too many wounded, so we're getting minus one happiness, but luckily we have enough military units to uh, sustain happiness a little bit. And here comes the earthquake. Get rid of that for now. Brilliant. You 
follow this woman down and build a mine down here. We now have 20 stone as well, so as soon as we get enough gold, we'll be able to do that. You know what? If you're repairing that building, I'll allow you to work in it after. Get a bit more gold in a second. Our healer's doing his job. I think. Where are you, dude? Oh, you're in there. You're healing the axe for her at the moment. Can't grow because we need more houses. Right, we've got our next thing. Going to get sharp weapons to make us even stronger. And I think this is as good a place as any to stop for today. Let's just save it quickly. Call it North Guard because I'm extra original like that. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.